I think that Copenhagen compared to, for instance, uh, London or Stockholm or Oslo is uh, a lot more relaxed. People are more laid back and everything's cool all the time and stuff like that. But I mean, I like Danish people. They're more open-minded. No worry, look around, don't be so sorry. In the place to be in the century, now you got it grooving eventually. I want you to shake that body, get in the trance, I know you got it. Can't be anyone, now the time has come to get into serious fun. Stella, um, this, we know you've had a few hits now in Germany, but there's still a lot of people out there that really don't know who you are. Could you tell those people where, where you're from and who you are exactly? What's well, up? Um, my full name is Stella Getz, and I'm 17 years old, and I come from Norway. Uh, so far, I've released two singles, Friends and Dr. Love, uh, which has gone really well, and I'm really pleased with the success so far. And now I'm releasing my first single, Yeah, Yeah. And uh, there's an album coming out called Forbidden Dreams. It's already released in some parts of Europe. And I like my album, of course. <laughs> Well, I don't love that was um, that was a bit crazy. That was we had to shoot that in the studio in London, which was um, which was hard going. I was born in Nigeria and I came to Norway when I was uh, about a couple of months old. And um, so I've grown up here in Trondheim in Norway. And believe me, it's nothing like Compton, you know. But it's cool, it's a cool place, totally mellow hanging in there. Um, in uh, 1992, at the DMCs in Oslo, uh, I hooked up with some people from Mega Records. And we decided to, you know, send them so de some demos and they would give us some feedback. In Norway, the press totally flipped out. They were like all over me. It's just like, poof, I wake up one morning and suddenly I'm a star, right? But I mean, that's cool. I can cope with it. People up here in Norway, they're really shy, right? So they're just like looking at me, you know, checking out what's going on, you know, but I mean, just very few people come up and ask for autographs and stuff like that because but in a way it's sort of I would actually prefer them to come up and say hi excuse me are you Stella Getz blah 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 you know but it's weird because when people are just looking at you you're thinking to yourself what are they thinking you know Nobody's ever asked me for an ID or anything to get into discos and stuff in my hometown, right? But now suddenly they're like, hmm, you're still a Getz, aren't you? Then they're like, but you're only 17 years old. Okay, get out of here, goodbye. So that's a bit sad, but I mean, they're, they're the ones who should feel bad about it because they've been letting me in for all those years and then suddenly they're like, oh my God. <laughs>
does your family feel about uh, you being out as a 17-year-old traveling around, entertaining as you are now, all the way down here in Spain? Are, are they worried about you? Um, my family has so far been really supportive, you know, really positive towards the whole thing, but I think that has something to do with, you know, if you show responsibility, then you get more freedom and also, you know, to keep in contact and, you know, keep them informed, and that's fine. You've just come off a tour in, in Germany. Germany, that, that was a 15-day tour, wasn't it? And can you tell us a little bit about that tour? Uh, yeah, it was a tour in Germany called the Mega Dance Festival 2. It was uh, me and um, Two Unlimited, Dr. Alban, Loft, Intermission, lots of local bands as well. And we went throughout the whole Germany, traveling back and forth. And uh, the tour went really great. The people were really nice. And the funny thing was at the different places, you know, you had people from four years old up to 50, and that's really nice to see that people at different ages enjoy the same type of music. <laughs> If you have a relationship, you have to build something up together, right? I mean, um, for me, that would be impossible now to have, like, a boyfriend or something like that. Mm -mm, it wouldn't work. The friends that I've always had, and hopefully, you know, the friends that will always stay there, they're totally cool about me. I mean, they respect me for what I'm doing. And I don't think that they look at me any differently because I'm suddenly a star or something. <laughs> I'm gonna make you crazy.